Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss how to calculate dosages for solid and liquid forms of oral medication. Now we are going to discuss about oral medications. We know that various medicines are given by mouth and these are called oral medications. The abbreviation for medication to be given by mouth is PO which is an abbreviation of the Latin phrase per os which means by mouth Now oral medications are of two types one is solid which is in tablets and capsules form and the second is liquid. Now we shall discuss how to read medication labels before starting that how much medicine to give to a patient we must be able to read the medication label correctly. Some points that you should look on the medication label are as below. Now the first thing to be checked is the name of the medication. There are at least two names written on the label and these are trade name and generic name. Now trade name is the name given to the drug by the company and it varies from one company to another. It is usually written in bold letters and generic name is the name assigned to the drug officially by US. There is only one generic name for each drug. It is usually written in lowercase letters. Now second point to be noticed is administration units. To measure the drug for actual administration to the patient some units are used which are called administration units like tablets, capsules, etc. The third point to be noticed is dosage units. These units measure drugs weight and are used when an order is written for the drug like milligrams, grams, etc. Next we have concentration. It tells us the relationship between dosage units and administration units and helps us to convert one unit to the other. And the last point to be noticed is total amount of the drug contained in the package and the expiry date. Now let us see this medication label. Now we know that the trade name is the name given to the drug by the company and it is usually written in bold letters. So here the trade name will be Kumudin. Now generic name is the name assigned to the drug officially by US and it is usually written in lowercase letters. 
Now in this medication label, the generic name will be Warfarin Sodium Dosage Unit Measures Drugs Weight So here Dosage Unit will be Milligrams Administration Units are used to measure the drug for actual administration to the patient here in this label, administration unit will be tablets. Now we know that concentration tells us the relationship between dosage units and administration units. And here we know that each tablet is 1 milligram. And lastly from this label, we can see that the total amount in the package is 100 tablets. Now we are going to discuss how to calculate the amount of a drug needed to administer a particular dosage. When a patient is given an order for a particular medicine, then that order requests the medicine in dosage units such as milligrams, grams, grains, etc. Now to actually measure the medicine to administer to the patient, we cannot measure milligrams, grams, grains, etc. Instead, we have to measure the medicine by calculating the correct number of pills or correct volume of the liquid to be given to the patient. So, we have to convert the dosage units to administration units before administrating it to the patient now let us discuss an example which says that calculate the number of tablets needed to administer this given dosage where doctor's order is pentoxyphylene 800 milligrams here let us see this medication label here it is written 100 tablets so this medication is administered in tablets so our answer unit will be in tablets. Now if we look at doctor's order that is pentoxyphylene 800 milligrams. Now we have to find that how many tablets will make 800 milligrams. Let it be x tablets. So X tablets should be equal to 800 milligrams. Now for this conversion we have to find the conversion factor that converts milligrams to tablets. To find this conversion factor we look at the concentration given on the medication label and that is 400 milligrams per tablet. This means one tablet is equal to 400 milligrams. From this equation we get the conversion factor 
that is equal to one tablet upon 400 milligrams. We should note that from this equation we have two fractions and we have chosen the first one as conversion factor because to convert 800 milligrams to tablets we have to cancel milligrams so milligrams should be in the denominator of the fraction and it is in this fraction. Now let us multiply 800 milligrams with this conversion factor and we have 800 milligrams into 1 tablet upon 400 milligrams and this is equal to 2 into 1 tablet that is 2 tablets. So here we have seen that 800 milligrams is equal to 2 tablets. Thus you should administer 2 tablets to the patient. Thus in this session we have discussed how to calculate dosages for solid and liquid forms of oral medication. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.